Good afternoon and welcome to Kitten Up Kitten. Um, my name is Sam and today I'm bringing you a review and an unusual kitten down. Probably one of the only kitten downs that I will ever do. Um, so this is the finish of my trees canvas from Fan Cells. So just to go through it, um, I'm going to see if I can, if it's got the measurements on it. I don't think it does. Um, no, can't remember what the measurements are, so I apologise. Um, but anyway, this is a four panel round diamond painting from Fan Cells. I believe it costs me around eight pounds. Um, symbol clarity, very, very good. Canvas. It's that plasticky type stuff, but it sticks well. I haven't had any problems with, with diamonds popping off or anything like that. Um, the, the symbol clarity is really good. You know, for a budget company, they're very, very good. I apologise if you hear the dog barking. I have literally rushed to get this video on just so I've got some content. Um, so I've literally just finished this. I wanted to get it finished tonight. I'm at work tomorrow, so I wanted to take my next canvas with me instead. Um, here are the trash drills. So not too many. Um, they've got little bits of... Uh, I apologise for the dog barking. My husband is due home any moment. So I can't guarantee I won't get interrupted, but if I do, I'll restart it or I'll carry on. I'll pause. So this is the trash. So not a huge amount of trash. Here is what I have got left. So what did I like about this kit? Symbol clarity was good. Really enjoyed working on it. I love the image. This is a picture that will be going up in my hallway once I framed it. Absolutely loved doing it. Um, love the fact that I've got plenty of colours left over. You know, some of these are fuller than others. Um, but I had more than enough for everything. So pleased with that. Um, love the price. Good price. Um, what didn't I like? These dusty drills. Can you see how dusty they are? This caused me some real problems um wax just would not work at all um blue tack didn't work very well glue dots even got gummed up so i ended up using wax for a lot of it just because i was having to change it so much so did not like the dusty drills that said these drills although i don't keep a lot of rounds these drills will not be going into my spare storage can't work with them um, I don't want to use them in anything else. Um, I would normally break these down into individual bags. I'm not going to today. I'm going to put them all in one bag and I'm going to find a different use for them. So I wanted to come on and do the review. So yes, price wise, very, very good. £8, you know, you can't moan at that. The picture is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely stunning. So yeah. Price point, amazing. Symbol clarity, great. Lovely picture. Love what how it's come out. Um, now that the drills are on there, you know, they look quite shiny. They're stuck well. I've not had any fall off. You know, it's all good. Except for them bloody drills, dusty drills. Um, so before I bung all of these into a bag, what I thought I would do... I um, didn't even get a bag out. What I thought I would do is I would bag these up into one bag. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to use them for something else. Um, <coughs> but I thought I'd also show how I clear my pots off afterwards. Sod's law that I can't find a bag now I want one. Honestly, how hard is it? A million of these bags hanging around. But how hard is it to find one when you want one? So I'm going to leave this canvas here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Zoom in, not zoom out, Sam. Um, so, quick update on 
what's happening. Um, my subscriber count has gone up quite a bit in the last day. So um, thank you to all of you that are new, that have decided to uh, to join us. Um, really appreciate it. You are very, very, very welcome. So for the first time in my diamond painting career, short that it is, this is what my kitten up, never thought I'd do this. This is what my kitten up is going to consist of. I have a rubbish bag and I'm going to peel my labels off and chuck them in there. I have never, ever in my life <laughs> mixed these drills together. And even though I know that they're too dusty for me to use for anything else, there's a little bit of me that's crying. Um, none in that one, not because I used them all, but because I inadvertently mixed them up with those ones. If you've seen that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But never thought I'd do this. I've seen people do this on YouTube and I've almost cried because I don't like wasting. I hate wasting stuff. So um, the fact I'm having to do this, um, I do have a plan for these drills, however. Um, very, very happy to have new subscribers. Thank you so much. Your likes, your shares, your subscribing all helps so i'm very very grateful long may it continue um so my plan for these um i do apologize about the dog the problem is because there are cars it's that time of night it's about 10 to 6 um every time a car goes by she thinks it's her dad coming home so she just barks um so my plan for this is i did get my molds today for pots um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little experiment and i'm going to try and use these in the molds for the cook pots and see if i can make trash drill pots out of drills trash drills sort of uh, makes sense doesn't it um because at the end of the day, I want to use, I want to reuse as much of this plastic as possible. I don't want to waste anything. But look how dusty these pots are. I mean, they they were awful. I'm not going to lie. And it's such a shame. I think if fan cells could, A, make sure that they're only printing stock images, not stolen artwork, and B could sort out issues like this because I've lost that lid now I'll have to go scoot in for that in a bit um because in all to, intents and purposes their drills are resin drills from what they say on the website um so the actual quality bar the dust is very good so if they could sort that out they'd be a fabulous little company they really would um, what puts me off is when I go searching on there and I see stolen images. I don't like that at all. I don't want to see a Randall Spangler when I know that he's licensed elsewhere. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So um, I have two more fan cells pictures to complete to do. Um, I doubt I will be buying any more. Just because when I when I go hunting for diamond paintings, I'm just like everybody else. I'll see lots of things that I'll like and I'll, I'll, you know, put it in my basket or whatever so I can have a decide later which ones I'm going to get. And of course, if you're getting a diamond painting for under £10, um, you know, I can buy three or four or five. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, five or six. Um, instead of one or two from Diamond Art Club, say. But I don't want to be wasting my time doing reverse searches. I'm going to get rid of that one because it was trashy. I don't want to be doing reverse searches for images to make sure it's not stolen. Because that just takes time. So um, when I buy from a company, I want to be assured that that image is not stolen. If it's a stock image, that's absolutely fine. Not a problem. I will always go for quality over price. Um, but 
um it's more important to me that the artwork is licensed than it is that it's cheap so it's a shame if you if you want to change my mind fan cells go ahead but uh I'm afraid these dusty drills are beyond me. It, it absolutely maddens me that I'm having to chuck these in this bag. Right, so that's all the pots emptied. Let me take that label off. Never in my life have I ever mixed up coloured drills. <laughs> I hate it. It's given me bad feels. However, I'm going to reuse them. So I'm going to try and put these into the moulds when I make the pots. Please do bear with me if you are looking for a cook pot. Um, I want to give making my own a go. If it doesn't work, then I will make some more. I promise. Um, but I really want to have a go. I, I, I like the idea of producing my own stuff. So now I've done that, I'm just going to pause you while I find this lid. Okay, so found it. I'm going to dump those drills because they will go in the bin and I'll get rid of that in a bit. So yeah, let's have a go. I'm going to see if I can make little drill pots out of trash drills because they're all trash because they're all dusty. So I don't want to be using them in anything else. Right, so once I have done that, um, this is what I'm using Goo Gone. Uh, goo and adhesive remover. It removes gum, glue and crayon, stickers and adhesives. And it has a little hole in the top. If I can get the lid off. I don't know if you can see that. It's a tiny little hole. Um, and literally, all you do, you don't need a lot. Like that. And... You just give your lid a little bit of a rub. I'm also going to give them a bit of a wipe out. I might have to do that with something later. Can you see the difference? Look, look how much dust was in there. Um, but I'll do that later off camera. So give them a bit of a rub and it will take that sticky off. And then what I suggest you do is leaving it a little while and then just give them a wipe over with a dry cough, cloth, not cough, a dry cloth. Um, these ones have been used quite a bit. Um, so they might take a little bit more getting off. And that's it really. Just give them a good clean. If you don't have um, dusty drills in your pots, you can just kick straight up. And because you've gone over with them with the goo gone, the labels won't stick so well. Now, I will say that the last time I kitted this up, I kitted it up straight after kitting down. And I found that my stickers that I'd made from the Legend um, kept peeling off, which was annoying. So I do suggest making sure they are completely dry. If you don't have Goo Gone, you can, of course, um, try soapy water if you want to go to that length. Um, I haven't got the energy for that. And that will then leave that case ready to kit up for my next one. So not a very interesting video, I'm afraid. But, you know, use your own mind you know if you are happy to reverse search then of course go ahead order from fan cells you know their quality is not bad for a budget company um like but you run the risk i mean like i said the 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 um the quality of the printing on this one was very very good i didn't have any problems i didn't have any problems with popping drills i didn't have any problems with non-sticky bits nothing like that um it was just those dusty drills right these couple here i actually did use double-sided tape to re-stick the labels down so I may have to give them a little bit of a scrape. 
my plan tonight is to do nothing more than um, get this cleaned up and give it a good dry. Um, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I will be able to do a kitting up. I've only actually got one canvas that I can kit up because this is a 30 bottle storage case and I only have one canvas that has less than 30 in. So, um, yeah, it's going to have to be the other Dreamer Designs canvas. Um, but I'm working tomorrow. I am going to have to clean these bottles out, as you can see. If I give it a bit of a wipe. There you go, look. Um, you can see how dusty they were. It was just every single colour. It wasn't just one. So before I put any other drills in here, I want to be getting rid of that dust. So yeah, I will do a kitten up video over the weekend at some point. Um, and I will, of course, also be starting my new one, which I'm very excited about because it's a Dreamer Designs. That's the round one that I've decided. I'm going to be doing Lighthouse Cottage. Because again, that is a picture that I want to go up on the hallway. I have explained my reasons why I've chosen that canvas in the um, unboxing, I think, and the kitting up video. So um, if you're interested in having a look at that, please do go and find it. As you know, an actual fact, if you don't know, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um I have decided to put all of my videos into playlists so um, you will be able to see a complete canvas from unboxing through kitting up through whips all the way to the review and kitting down in one playlist because I know a lot of people are like me they they want to uh, they want to watch a whole thing you know, all in one place. Other people may not. If you don't, if you want to see things as they're posted, then please just go to videos and do it that way. Either or the choice is yours. Um, so other things I want to say. Had a great tip somebody suggested on whether I could use the cheap trays to make my own um, resin trays. Um, I could. Um, it would be a lot easier, however, if I used, if I made myself a mould from one of those trays and then made my own resin trays. Um, I shall think about it. Um, I probably wouldn't use the little green trays because um, they're not very big. I don't know about you guys. I prefer a big tray. The ones that I used before, I... Um, found Rebecca's Admiral Zest trays and I have to say I'm not paid to say it you know I'm not affiliated in any way but I have to say that the Admiral Zest trays are the best tray that I've used however let me grab one before I got Rebecca's tray these are the ones that I used because I like a big tray um so if I was going to make a tray, I would probably make a mould of this and make my own ones this size because I do like this. Um, watch this space. I've got an awful lot of things that I'm trying to get finished for the resin for the uh, Etsy shop. Um, and I need to get them finished and up before I start making more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use... A little bit of kitchen towel and see if I can get some of this dust out of these bottles. The problem is they're quite quite tight fitting, aren't they? So I don't know how well it will work. Oh no, that's all right. I can live with that. Um, so that's my plan. So my plan now is to get this hung up out of the way. Got a random drill in that one. Um, and prep my next canvas um, prepping for me consists of um, washi tape around the edges making sure that I've got 
especially for a canvas that I might be taking to work with me, I need to make sure that I've got a tool kit in with the um, storage so that I'm not at work and missing <laughs> bits, you know, like a decent pen, etc. Um, but I'm looking forward to starting on that. I really am. I'm not sorry to see the back of this one. If only I could get the ever moment one done just as quickly so i'm going to leave it there i'm not going to bore you too much um watch this space to see what i do i have never ever done this is it bothering you guys as much as it is me i now want to pick them all out and sort them out into colors but it's fine let's not waste them there's a fair few drills there let's not waste them let's see what i can do so i'm going to leave it for now i apologize it's a quick video i know that i haven't been uploading as much as i did in the beginning that is just down to time um thank you very much for joining me today um i hope that you're having a lovely evening i hope you have an even better weekend um i will be back hopefully um very soon with a kitting up video yes so this is my first finish of 2022 and what a fin what a finish to start with eh she is beautiful so no regrets D despite the drills no regrets um on a little end note i am going to get a cloth and wipe these drills over because i think that it will look even shinier whilst I've done that um, and I just need to get a frame for it now so um, yeah come back soon I will be back with the kitten up and of course there will be a brand new brand new whip to go on um, so thank you for joining me um, please do on your way out give me a like um, say hello that's always good um, subscribe if you haven't already that would be amazing so it is as always, over and out from this Kitchen Up Kitten. Bye-bye.